明けましておめでとうございます。今年もよろしくお願いします。That is the whole way to say Happy New Year in Japanese. As you can see, it's not short at all, so let's look at this a little bit.、Uh, firstly, I wrote it in blue, the normal、uh, way of writing in Japanese.、Uh, underneath, if you haven't learned hiragana yet, this is the romaji, romaji, the Roman letter way of、uh, writing it phonetically. And also above the kanji, I've written the hudigana, which are the readings for the kanji. So, This is crazy. It's, it's, it's long. We, these are our two phrases, and this is the whole way to say Happy New Year. You can say just the first part, Akemashite omedetou gozaimasu, on its own, and it's, it can get by, but most Japanese people will say both in succession. So we have to figure out what this、uh, all means, because it's actually multiple words.、Uh, the first thing that we should look at here is the very end. Gozaimasu at the end. If you've already learned a few expressions in Japanese, you might know that this is something you add for the sake of politeness. So, this gozaimasu,、uh, which has a specific meaning, which、uh, we will get to another time, is something that we can effectively subtract. It doesn't really add meaning except to be polite. And by polite, I mean a way of expressing yes, sir, or no, sir, or yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. That's sort of what the effect of the polite. Form of Japanese speech is to say sir or ma'am at the end of a sentence. So that leaves us with akemashite omedeto. Well, you might have heard of this word omedeto on its own. Omedeto means congratulations. And omedeto would be a way to say congratulations to a friend of yours. So if you say、um, you, somebody's had a birthday and you want to congratulate them, you say omedeto. But if you want to Be polite about it, maybe not a friend or a family member, but instead someone that you need to be polite with, maybe a stranger or someone you're not that good friends with yet, you would say, Omedeto gozaimasu. So that's what the gozaimasu is for. That on its own, this just means congratulations on its own. It just means congratulations, effectively. So that's what this whole ending part here means in the first expression. And the gozaimasu being the polite way to say it, or omedeto, you could say on its own. What about this akemashite? Well, if you might know some Japanese words, it looks kind of similar to the word for open or opening. And that's exactly what this is here、uh, doing. It's about the opening of the new year.、Um, and in fact, the name January comes from the Roman god Janus. Which is the god of openings, of endings and beginnings, the god of doorways. Like the word janitor, a guard for a doorway, is named after that very same god, Janus, Janus. So the kanji is different though. It's not the usual kanji for opening, it's instead the kanji for bright. And there is some, certain, some kind of literary or, or significant meaning that that was chosen to make it the kanji for bright.、Uh, otherwise, akemashite. Simply has to do with the idea of opening. And you'll notice also, too, that we have it ending in this te here. If you haven't heard of it yet, there's something called the te form in Japanese, very important verbal form. And if you want to say congratulations on something happening,、uh, you take the verbal form, so here's this, this verbal form of the idea of opening, and then we're putting congratulations. So on the opening of the new year, which we're not saying here, upon the opening, congratulations. So that's what the first phrase means. Akemashite omedetou gozaimasu, all together. So three words basically in one set phrase. So what immediately comes after that is kotoshi mo yoroshiku omegai shimasu.、Um, you can say pretty much just this first expression on its own. However, most Japanese people will say both in succession. So, if you don't want to be lazy and you want to go through the whole thing, you have to say, Kotoshi mo yoroshiku o m e g a i s h i m a s u So, what does that mean? First,、uh, let's look at this first word here, Kotoshi. We see here the furigana Kotoshi. It has two kanji the kanji for now and the kanji for year. So, the purpose of kanji generally is not to convey a phonetic idea the way most words do, they're not pictograms either. They are、uh, ideograms or ideograms. They're conveying ideas. So here we have two ideas. The second one is the kanji for year, and the first one is the kanji for now. So the now year, the present year. 
So this year, that's just the way to say this year. Kotoshi is its pronunciation, and it's written with these two kanji. Kotoshi, this year. Mo means also. Kotoshi mo, this year also. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Let's take that a little bit slower. If you ever have a long word, whatever language it is, and you want to be able to pronounce it, and it's like, oh my gosh, how many syllables? Akimashite, omaidado gozaimasu, kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. How do you get to the point where you can say it normally? Because you might maybe you just stumble over it. Even if a person has a long name, here's a trick. Start at the very end. So our last syllable here is mas. And by the way, you might have noticed something. If you haven't seen much Japanese yet, uh, you'll see that the phonetic way to write this with the romaji, with the Roman letters, is su. This final character, this final kana, the syllable, which is su. Yet the way I've been pronouncing it, and the way most Japanese people will say this, is they won't say the onegaishimasu or the gozaimasu. They won't put that u on the end very distinctly. Um, that's really just their habit. So they don't have a different way of writing it. We just know that in these certain situations, we don't tend to pronounce a final mas as masu unless you're being very formal or talking on the phone. So that said, we start with the mas. And we work our way backwards. We have mas, shimas, ishimas, and now we have our neg negai. So we have negai shimas. Let's put that all together. Negai shimas, negai shimas. Not too bad. O negai shimas, o negai shimas, o negai shimas. So that is our last word here. O negai shimas, which we'll cut here. O negai shimas is a phrase which can mean several different things, but its basic idea is please. A polite way of saying please. The impolite way, or the casual way, would be on the guy. It's said very rarely on its own, on the guy on its own. Um, but on the guy shimas is the word that we'll normally use in both casual and polite speech. And it simply means please, normally. However, we have this other word that we're adding here. So we can all say on the guy shimas, and you know the trick. Mas, imas. Or rather, mas, shimas, ishimas, negai shimas, onegai shimas. And now we add this word, yoroshiku. So again, let's use the same trick just for this word. Ku, shiku, roshiku, yoroshiku, yoroshiku, yoroshiku. This comes from a word which is related to the regular Japanese word for good, which is i or yoi but it is a more formal word, it's a somewhat older word. So now we have this yoroshiku onegaishimasu. As a set phrase, yoroshiku onegaishimasu basically means best wishes. So I'm going to write that up here. Best wishes. So there are other ways you might express this yoroshiku onegaishimasu. One of them is when you meet somebody for the first time. There are two phrases for when you meet somebody, when you f first meet them and you haven't met their name yet. You usually say, hajimemashite, which conveys the idea of, oh, it's the first time I'm meeting you. And then you exchange names, and then afterwards, you can say, it's nice to meet you again, but with a different phrase. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. And that's where this phrase would come in. So this, in that case, it would mean, nice to meet you. That's the way we'd use it in English. But probably the best translation on the whole would be, best wishes. So, now you should probably have a good idea what this all means. Kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. This year, too, this year also, best wishes. So, that is the whole way to say Happy New Year on its own. And now that we've gone through all the syllables and backwards and forwards, let's see if we can say it all together again. So, repeat after me. Akemashite omedetou gozaimasu. Kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Be able to do it? This is obviously really long, and just to say Happy New Year, what a chore. So the Japanese people realized that it's kind of hard to say this long phrase too, so they came up with a shorter expression. This is an expression which is mostly just used among friends and family members, uh, so if you have any Japanese friends or good friends at all in Japanese, you'll be able to use this. It is Akeome Kotoyoro. Isn't that easier? That's like a million times easier. So repeat after me. Akeome kotoyoro. Akeome 
koto yoro. So if uh, you have any friends in Japanese, uh, rather any friends you speak Japanese with, this is a completely legitimate uh, way of saying Happy New Year. And it's a lot more convenient than saying this, Akimashite o medetou gozaimasu, kodoshi mo yoroshiku o negaishimasu. They took the ake and ome, and they took the koto and yoro, and just made this lovely, short, simple phrase. A lot more convenient. That's all I have for now. If you have any questions, please add a comment. And uh, this, all this text here, I'll put in the description so that you can look at it and copy and paste it and send it to your Japanese friends and impress them. Akimashite, omedetou gozaimasu. Kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu.